Scooby-Doo is a cartoon tale as old as time that I feel everyone at some point or another has either seen or at least heard of in some way or another. So to cut to the chase, today we'll be comparing two of the best Scooby-Doo films in my opinion. Those being Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island made in 1998 and of course Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost which was made two years later. For round one we'll be focusing on story. The Witch's Ghost story revolves around Ben Ravencroft, a famous horror writer who looks to Mystery Inc. to help him solve a mystery in his hometown, where his ancestor Sarah was accused of witchcraft, but Ben is eager to find his ancestor's medical journal in order to set the record straight. However, things seem spookier than the gang thought when strange happenings begin to develop around town. Meanwhile, Zombie Island's story follows the gang as they travel to Moonscar Island in search of the perfect haunted house for Daphne's Coast to Coast show, but when the hauntings intensified, things become a lot scarier than the gang ever expected. Both stories are interesting angles and quite intense for a Scooby-Doo movie. However, what I feel Zombie Island does a little better is pacing. In Witch's Ghost, it seems to take a while before we get into the real spookiness of the story. Whereas with Zombie Island, I feel like they keep you on your toes with the intensity rising throughout the movie. So to kick things off, the first round goes to Zombie Island. Now this category really makes the movie for me personally. I love both these soundtracks and often listen to them around Halloween time. With Witch's Ghost, iconic Hex Girls song, and the Zombie Island's hard rock and mix of spooky lyrics, it makes for great music for each film. However, I think I'm going to give this one to yet again Zombie Island, if only for the song Terror Time. I really like the vibe of this song and its perfectness for the scene that it's played in, with its heavy backbeat and rapid lyrics and its smooth sounding melody. All in all, it's a great song to put you in the Halloween mood. Round 2 goes to Zombie Island. Now, you can't have a Scooby-Doo movie without having a masked villain to uncover. However, in both these movies, the villain is actually the last one you'd expect, with the buildup of Ben's twist of the real reason he wanted to find the journal, and the reveal of the horror that led to the werecats to take over the island. Now, as intense as Zombie Island's villain story is, I actually felt Ben's transformation into a villain was interesting to watch. Just the way Ben's whole demeanor transforms from this somewhat caring and cool guy to this vengeful and crazy guy obsessed with power and dark magic. So as far as the interesting character transformation, I'll have to give this one to Witch's Ghost. Now the final round is what I feel is a big factor in both of these films, apart from the music, and that is the scare factor. Now, I don't know about you, but Zombie Island was a lot scarier to me as a kid, with the zombies rising and the visuals of the zombies' skin and hollow eyes, which is something I feel is what kind of is lacking in Witch's Ghost. I mean, sure, it has some thrilling moments, but nothing super creepy or necessarily scary. It's kind of intense in some parts, but I don't know. I just feel Zombie Island was kind of the movie that went a lot darker in its premise and wasn't afraid to go darker if they needed to. So yeah, all in all, I'd say Zombie Island wins over the scare round. And with that, it's time to wrap things up and crown our victor.